I think we've become like supermarket snobs in the UK. Okay, so the first supermarket shopping experience we had was Whole Foods. As you guys know, if you watch the vlog, today's shopping experience here in New York City is Trader Joe's. Everybody says that is a more budget oriented supermarket. And since I'm on a budget, we're going to Trader Joe's. So come on, Joe, let's see what you've got. Okay, just finished our Trader Joe's experience. Got the bag to prove it. The guy at the cashier was really, really surprised to see us in Trader Joe's. They don't see many foreigners in Trader Joe's apparently, people who are visiting. We didn't really get as many things as we wanted to get because I think, um, I don't know, we're just not used to the supermarkets here. I think we've become like supermarket snobs in the UK because we're spoiled for choice. We've got so many different supermarkets and here like there's just not as many choices and Trader Joe's was a little bit weak on some fronts very weak on the bakery department for example very very weak bakery game Joe you disappoint so we've got a bag full of stuff not sure if it's anything useful it's more kind of snacky type stuff because like the ready food stuff just looked a little bit nasty if I can already say that Whole Foods is a better supermarket Whole Foods is better definitely there's a better selection better healthy stuff. Disappointed they didn't have any fresh bagels there at Trader Joe's, none at all. The bagels we've been eating at Whole Foods were amazing. I think I mentioned this in another video before, but I'm here like, I'm always constantly amazed by the size of the vehicles that you guys have in the United States, even here in New York, which is a city. So what exactly are you gonna do in a place like New York with a truck like that? Look at the size of it. It's even got double wheels at the back. It's a blooming beast. Power stroke 6.7 liters. Four by four. I think this is a six by six. Never mind four by four. Look at the size of it. Look at Manhattan there behind me. Is that not a gorgeous sight or what? Okay, so we're back home from Trader Joe's. It was a bit disappointing guys, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's just because Trader Joe's was so busy and so hectic that we didn't give it a proper chance to see what they had. Supermarket experiences in a new city and a new country, that is important. Guys, I need to take more a walk. I kind of feel like some kind of terrible accident has happened here. Got this dog leash on the tree, and then we have over here, a skateboard in half. I can't get over how beautiful it is down here under the Brooklyn Bridge, the view of Manhattan at this time of night is absolutely spectacular. Wow, that is a sunset. That's gorgeous. Okay, so just walking away from the bridge now, such an awesome view tonight. Um, there is a concert going on tonight here in Brooklyn. It is an opera concert, open air, um, just in front of us, so we're going to go and check it out. I think this must be the spot. Everybody is down here with their big cameras taking photos. This must be like Instagram hotspot right down here. Big professional cameras. Still here in the opera there behind us. Um, but wow, New York is just so beautiful. So, I mean, it's crazy to have such a big, busy, busy city, but then come to a place like this and you're just kind of surrounded half by nature, half by people and development and stuff. It's awesome. Most having fun. 
<laughs> He's having a lot of fun. Oh. That is so cool, down by the walkway here, right next to the river, they have all these um, barbecues that you can just basically turn up and bring your own charcoal, bring your own meat, and light up the barbecue. That is awesome. There's like four or five barbecues there, and even though it is during the week, people are out barbecuing. Good on them. <laughs>